Anyone who has seen either of my Jack Eichel related videos on the channel knows how highly I think of him as a hockey player. When he's fully healthy, I believe he's one of the top three best American born players in the league right now and a player that can possibly win an MVP someday. And no matter how good of a player you are, Sometimes there is a disconnect between a player and the organization, and I think that is what is currently happening in Buffalo with Jack Eichel and the Sabres. I'm sure it's very disappointing for any fans of the Buffalo Sabres, but it seems now more than ever like we are very, very close to a trade that sends Eichel out of Buffalo. Certainly every team in the league would love to have a player like Eichel, but not everyone has the assets to make a trade like this happen. There are, however, many teams that do, and quite a few that seem to be in the mix for a Jack Eichel trade. And that is why in today's video, I will be breaking down the five most likely Jack Eichel trade destinations, in my opinion. Please consider hitting like and subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed today's video and want to see more like it in the future. These teams will be in no particular order, but I will start it off with number one, the Columbus Blue Jackets. The Blue Jackets are a team that struggled pretty mightily this, this season to score goals, finishing 29th of 31 teams in goals for. They also finished near the bottom of the Central Division despite having lots of star players on the roster and a pair of pretty solid goaltenders. One thing Columbus lacks heavily right now is a bona fide number one center, and Jack Eichel could be that missing piece. The Jackets have plenty of assets to potentially make a trade like this work and also hold the 5th overall pick in the 2021 draft, which could be very enticing for Buffalo. A potential trade could maybe be that 5th overall pick, as well as a prospect and potentially another piece, either a young center like Max Domi or a young defenseman. For the second potential destination, I'm going with the obvious and maybe most talked about team, the New York Rangers. The Rangers have been linked to Eichel since the first time his name's ever been brought up in a trade and as one of the most valuable franchises in the NHL, in a city where your team needs star power to stand out, Eichel would be perfect for Madison Square Garden. In addition, the Rangers have quite a few valuable young pieces that they could provide to Buffalo if they really wanted to make something happen. A possible trade could be the Rangers 15th overall pick in this year's draft, along with two to three solid forward or defensive prospects. Perhaps guys like Braden Schneider, Zach Jones, Matthew Robertson will be involved, and then one or two roster players, potentially Ryan Strom, Philip Hedl, or Vitaly Kravtsov. For the third potential team, I'm going with the Anaheim Ducks, whose name has been floating around a lot over the past few days. They are yet another team that lacks scoring depth and is looking to get out of their rebuild and getting a player to the caliber of Jack Eichel would be huge, and he would certainly be the new face of their franchise. The Ducks also possess the third overall pick in this year's draft, and if they are willing to part ways with that pick, it could help them not have to give up as many other prospects or young roster players. A potential trade could include that third overall pick, as well as one or two other prospects or young roster players, guys like Troy Terry, Max Comtois, Sam Steele, Max Jones, or potentially goalie Lucas Dostal. I highly doubt the Ducks will be willing to give up Trevor Zegers or Jamie Drysdale, but we will see. For the fourth potential landing spot for Eichel, I'm going with a bit of a wild card, the one I find very interesting, the Chicago Blackhawks. The Hawks are in an interesting spot, somewhere in between rebuilding and having a good enough team to get into the playoffs, as we saw them almost sneak into the Central this year. Getting someone like Eichel would be huge and could potentially extend their window with Patrick Kane and Taves, if Taves is able to come back healthy. Then again, I'm not sure if they would even have the cap space to get Eichel if and when Taves comes back. I do think Chicago would have the assets to pull a trade like this off, but they'd likely have to give up their 11th overall pick this year, and possibly even Kirby Doc, who they just drafted third overall in 2019 and is a huge part of their future. If they were to make a trade, it could involve the 11th pick and Kirby Doc, and if I'm Buffalo, I'd probably take that right away. I'm just not sure the Hawks will be willing to do it. And now for the fifth most likely trade destination in my opinion, I'm going with another of the initial top contenders, the Los Angeles Kings. The Kings, like the Rangers, have one of the best prospect pools in the league right now, 
and could definitely afford to lose a few to acquire young stud Jack Eichel, who is still just 24. Kings also possess the 8th overall pick in this year's draft, which could be very valuable to the Sabres. Most sources say that the Kings are not willing to part ways with Quinton Byfield, whom they selected 2nd overall last year, but what a 1 for 1 trade that would be if it happened. Byfield straight up for Eichel. The proposal that seems most likely for the Kings would include the 8th overall pick, along with 2 or 3 other prospects. Guys like Rasmus Kupari, Samuel Fogamo, Arthur Kaliev, and or possibly the 5th overall pick from 2019, Alex Turkot. Let me know down in the comments if I missed out on a team you think is in the mix, and let me know what your mock trades would look like in an Eichel trade. Thank you guys so much for watching, we'll see you in the next one.